Hi YouTube, this is Darkon633, back with the final figure of the Transformers Siege and Cybertron box set, and that is Magnus Prime. For those who are familiar with the character, this is just Hasbro's release of Ginrai that was released in the Takara Legends line, and from what I can tell, it's exactly the same release that they released in Takara Legends, so it's kind of surprising to see this figure get released in by Hasbro in general. In terms of articulation, it's actually kind of different than we've seen with Power Master Prime, and that's because his legs have a whole new level of tooling. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same what we've seen with Power Master Optimus. The head can swivel, although you can move it just a tad bit, you're not going to get a whole lot there. He does have a joint in the shoulder so that you can actually move the cannons and you can swivel them if you wished. He has standard swivels at the shoulders, our moons in the shoulders, swivels at the elbows, although the little panels do get in the way. He actually has swivels at the wrist, so that's really nice, and the hands are also retooled along with the arms as well. He doesn't have any waist articulation, but he has ratchets in the hips, swivels at the thighs, standard knee articulation, and this is where it's mostly different. In the original release of Power Master Arthur's Prime, he had standard feet, although for Ginrai and Magnus Prime, it's a little bit strange. He has movement in the ankles, and you can kind of pivot this front piece as well if you wish, due to transformation. He has an actual ankle in the back too, so that's really interesting what they did with this particular design, and it can pivot left and right a bit too, so that is where it's mostly different though, otherwise you're not going to get a whole level of difference, at least in the overall articulation. You can open this little compartment here, and inside he does have an actually newly tooled head, which is a lot more accurate to a G1 Optimus kind of style head, rather than the other head, which looks a little bit more towards Orion Pax. You can transfer it into a Titan Master Wish, and it kind of actually looks more towards Ginrai's Transtecker body, rather than just an Optimus there, so that's really cool. Now we're going to move on to Transformation. The Transformation is quite similar to Power Master Optimus, although there is a few parts that are different in transformations. Anyways, we'll now move on to that. Magnus Prime in his trailer mode. Now, as you can see in the footage when during transformation, it was a bit of a struggle to put this all together, especially because there's a lot more panel line going on. It's a very similar struggle that I had with Power Master Optimus Prime. It's unfortunate that this particular trailer piece is so thin due to transformation that causes it quite a bit of hassle to actually transform it into the two modes. You can actually take the cannons and plug them onto the sides as normal, similar to what we've seen with Power Master Arthur's Prime. And it's got new areas where you can actually plug in weapons, and on the instructions and on the box, you can plug the handguns up on these little holes here. And because it is a trailer, you can open up this component, and you can place vehicles inside of you, which too, although there isn't a whole lot of room in there, you can still actually do that. Some areas of different type of tooling as well include the entire front cap, which has been completely redone to be more accurate to Ginrai's design. And it does maintain the same ability where you can actually pull the cab forward, and you can have an articulated truck so that it actually rolls. It does maintain the same plastic wheels as seen with the Power Master Optimus Prime release. And they roll okay, I guess. There isn't a whole lot of problems with that. So overall, I think Hasbro did a pretty good job actually releasing this figure over, especially since this is pretty much designed by Takara this time around, and they just kind of repackaged it for Hasbro. Now since the transformation is pretty self-explanatory, I decided to just skip ahead with the base mode. In my opinion, this is another very weak mode, and it's just kind of like a lazy mode that they decided to tack in. The original G1 Power Master, Optus Prime, and Ginrai had a very similar kind of mold, but Overall, it's kind of iffy, in my opinion. You can plug the guns on the side here, and you can plug the secondary weapons if you wish to up 
here as well, just to make it easier. And you pretty much get the idea with this mode. You can put Titan Master all around, and you can take these little components and plug them up and make multiple bases. But overall, I don't think this mode is really all that extraordinary. In conclusion, I think Magnus Prime is cool, although it's a bit wonky in a few areas. I didn't really mention it in this video, but he does have some problems with standing due to the way that his ankle's designed, but if you get it in a sweet spot, it stands pretty decently, and it can be a little bit problems at times otherwise. He does have a little bit of a QC issue on my version, since even during transformation, some, one of the panels likes to pop off a lot, and I don't know what causes that. I think there's not enough friction or something holding the parts, so it does kind of pop off from time to time, but if you have Power Master Outdoors Prime, you're not going to expect a whole lot of difference except for the few areas that were retooled to make it more accurate to the original G1 character from Transformers Master Force, and if you're a fan of the character in Master Force, I guess this is the figure to get, but unfortunately for what I could tell, due to a Q&A from Cybertron.com I saw recently, it seems like at SDCC this year they confirmed that God Bomber will not be being released by Hasbro, so you're going to have to go to car either way to get that particular character in order to combine it with the figure. From what I could tell since this is pretty much exactly the same as the car release, he will still be able to combine with God Bomber, but it is, I guess, a bit of a shame that that particular character did not come over to North America. But I guess in some cases it's not the worst, since for what I could tell it does have a few QC problems that hinder it quite a bit that causes the overall package to not be as good as originally anticipated. So anyways, this covers my releases for the Seizure Cybertron box set. Tune in tomorrow as we look at the comparisons between the various figures and my final conclusion of the set as a whole. Anyways, please comment, subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my content go up as soon as possible. And please check down the other channels down below. And finally, follow me on Twitter under DarkOn633. We'll be back tomorrow with the final conclusion of the set.